guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thanks so much for watching. We are kicking it chill today on the floor and I'm doing something a little bit different for Scent Sunday today. I thought we could talk about some Bath & Body Works stuff. I recently bought quite a few things because it's fall time at Bath & Body Works and I really don't know if there's anything better. Like there's nostalgia, there's just something about fall time at Bath & Body Works that gets me so fucking hyped, like I cannot, okay? I am into it, I love it, I fucking, lo I love it, okay? Candles, body mist, shower gels, all of it I love so much and I just feel like all the pumpkin scents, all the cinnamon scents, when it starts getting into the holidays for Bath & Body Work, it's just the best time. I literally, like it is just a boost of adrenaline and excitement and I love it. So I thought I would share with you what I picked up. I got a lot of online exclusives. I shopped a couple of weeks ago uh, because I always suggest getting a deal. Like do not buy these motherfucking candles full price. Please, please, please. Like they've gone up to 20 sex. These used to be $20 a piece and I thought they were expensive then. <laughs> I can only imagine what they're gonna continue to raise them to, but I always shop during a sale. So they had the candles at like 12 something, which is one of the best deals they kind of do. I feel like I know there's better ones. There's like candles day too which is more I think during the holidays but anyway I felt like that was a pretty decent deal so I picked up some candles they also were doing like 20% off maybe and the body mist were like $5.95 a piece so there was like a lot going on I felt like it was kind of mega I was like okay like I can at least save some money and I wanted to let you know what I like what I don't suggest some candles from last and past seasons that I really suggest and really just like get into the fall spirit you guys know I've been loving this last like three cent Sundays have all focused around like vanillas and then fall fragrances so we're kind of just continuing that on but let's just get into it we'll talk more as we go you guys know so I'm gonna start with candles because I really feel like you know Bath and Body Works candles to me are just so good like I love how strong they are I love that they have a lot of like food scents but a lot of offerings as well and I feel like they're really stepping it up even more with a lot of different types of scents so let's start there one of the things I knew I wanted to pick up this is a repurchase but this is Cider Lane I actually picked up two of these candles this is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works this is the epitome of a green apple drenched in caramel it's a caramel apple scent so I feel like it's perfect for anyone who wants that sweetness that caramel goodness but also doesn't want it to be too sickly sweet this has that sharp crisp green apple in it it literally is the perfect mix of both of those things the notes on the bottom here say bourbon glazed apples maple sugar creamy vanilla oh so good I have burned this candle I can remember burning it like 2012 so I have a lot of scent memory attached to this as well so I I fucking love it and I think it was like online exclusive when I purchased I don't know why they're not bringing it back I like Hope to goodness that doesn't mean they're gonna get rid. I have no idea what happens with scents. I'm not a Bath and Body Works expert by any means but I fucking love this scent, can't wait to burn it, and I didn't have any more from last season at all, I'd burned through them, so. This was a non-negotiable on my list, and I highly recommend this one. Even if you're not super into gourmands, I think if you like an apple-y scent, you might still like that one, and it might be a good one to dip your toe in. I was not usually into really sweet, foody scents. Like, for the longest time, I, like, actually hated that shit, um, but maybe, like, at this point, a year and a half ago, two years ago, I started getting into caramel pumpkin swirl and things like that so next this one I picked up not in this most recent haul it was a little bit earlier but I did pick up an autumn candle another one that's like a classic for me this is another apple-y scent but it doesn't have any like really foodie dessert sweetness to it it's more like the apples and like almost like cranberries and there's something about it that's sweet but still kind of refreshing it's not like too masculine either this has bright red gala apple juicy fig eucalyptus leaf and fir balsam so good this one's a great one I've already started burning it I actually brought it with me on vacation so we were like burning it in the house which is really nice but this is another candle I like always pick up in fall time it's so good one that I decided to try out this year because I'm into more smoky scents is marshmallow fireside I know this is a cult classic favorite like so many people like this and I again just wasn't really into marshmallow scents I wasn't into necessarily smoky scents I always went for apples or peach like fruity stuff and now I don't really like that at all <laughs> like uh yeah I don't know I've like gone through a major transformation when it comes to what I like to smell so I was excited so excited for this you guys know by the fireplace from uh replica is like my favorite this has notes of toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber it seems like it's gonna be so great but for whatever reason I mean you can I burned this okay I just don't feel like this is that strong and it's just not that amazing I don't 
I don't know if I'm just comparing it too much to replica and maybe I like wanted too much from this candle But yeah, I'm not obsessed with it I obviously have burned a lot like I said and I did pick up another one because I really want to give it a fair shot I got the one that's in different packaging though. Both of these are from this year, but they do different packaging I don't really know. why. I guess it's so that maybe you're more into this aesthetic than this one I don't really get it, but I'm not convinced. I'm really not convinced. So this one's like a maybe I wish it was just smokier. I wish it was richer. I wish it was stronger like, I don't know, the hype might not be real. I really want to try the actual by the fireplace candle, but that thing's like $65. Maybe during the Sephora so <laughs> I might go for it because I love that scent and to have it in a candle sounds amazing and the Bath and Body Works one did not live up so hmm. we'll see though I need to burn through that one and maybe that one's just a dud maybe or or maybe I was just distracted and wasn't noticing it I don't get it I feel like I'm making excuses for it though another repurchase I just finished up burning my last salted butterscotch this one is so if you like butterscotch this is so good I love that it's salted you can tell it just has that balance in there it's rich it is like that buttery it's not quite maple but kind of you know how butterscotch smells like I was one of those kids that loved butterscotch <laughs> just an old woman when I was young this is warm brown sugar sweet cream pinch of sea salt and melted butter oh so good if you're into gourmand scents you're gonna love this one if you like something like pumpkin caramel swirl I feel like this delivers in that really like kind of dripping in sweetness dripping in comfort and cozy foodie like scent you're gonna love it you're gonna freaking love it it burned so nicely last time this is the same exact scent like I can't wait to have this I love just having this going like either throughout the day or like into the night when we're just watching shows like so good I picked up a few that I feel like are leaning toward uh kind of winter scents like what's a fall scent what's a winter scent they kind there are things that are kind of on the cusp and I feel like that's what these are so I picked up vanilla burn this one I had not smelled before and because it's a vanilla and woods type of smell I was excited but this is one I don't suggest it kind of has like a very masculine and kind of deodorant smell to me so it has white birch bark Madagascar vanilla warm sandalwood I feel like the sandalwood in here is just a little bit spicy it's probably gonna burn nice I'm not like gonna return it or like exchange it which they do a really good job I feel like at Bath and Body Works where you can exchange things pretty easily obviously if you're not like scamming the system I think they're cracking down on some things but I feel like if you're just like doing normal ass shit it's like not a big deal if you're not trying to like return a really old candle you got for a dollar for like a brand new one that's like the most expensive like you should be fine <laughs> anyway this is not one that I would recommend though and I could even see this being something I like gift to someone like if I'm just going over to their house and I think they might like that scent maybe I'll bring it there instead of keeping it for myself we'll just see how things go that's something I definitely do with candles like I'll buy a bunch of stuff and then you know like when you have random like housewarming stuff or you're going over to people's houses I kind of just already have like gifts <laughs> like unused stuff that I can kind of gift to people if I feel like it's right and like they'd like it and you know I kind of have that stuff on standby another one that's kind of Christmassy on the verge this is fresh balsam I love this scent I love a pine tree like Christmas tree scent my favorite one is the times Fraser fur candle that one is so good if you're looking for like the ultimate pine scent that is the one to get uh, let me tell you but this has woodland balsam crisp you eucalyptus fir branches and cedar wood it is such a good green yet like lush kind of wintry foresty scent I love it so much this is not a dry forest this is a very healthy green rich dense forest and I love it with the cool air so aromatic and so good love that one Sam also loves that and this is kind of like a spin-off of that it's white balsam and vanilla so it's basically the same thing but with a richer vanilla I'm actually really excited for this. I do think it's different enough that I'm excited for both, but we'll see once it's actually burning. I think that's where this is really gonna shine with that rich vanilla. So this says fresh white pine, chilled forest air, warm vanilla musk. That one's really cozy. It's a little bit warmer and I feel like softer around the edges, I guess, than the original fresh balsam. And now we get into what I feel like are all online exclusives. And that was one of the reasons I placed my order online instead of going in store. I had a lot of candles that I wanted to try that were online only. So, oh wait, 
wait, this one isn't. This one I actually wanted to get in store. Same with this one, but I was just waiting for a sale. Like I was not gonna pay full price. This is blueberry maple pancakes. And this smelling it in store, I knew it was gonna be super sweet. It had kind of a bready thing going on. It had kind of a maple syrup thing going on, but it had that fruity blueberry as well. And I really just wanted to know what it was like burning because it's one of those really sweet ones. And I thought maybe once it's burning, I'll really love it. The notes in here, wild blueberry, griddle fresh pancakes, warm maple syrup. And I definitely think it is all of those things. And it smells a lot better burnt, I feel like, than in the candle form, like warmed up in the house. It's really nice. I don't think it's one I'll purchase again but I will enjoy it and use it up. But mm, unless you're like obsessed with blueberries, I don't think it's like a must have for me. I'm way more into that carrot cake one that came out. That one is so good. The other blueberry scent that I picked up, this one was, I think, online. I think it was online. <laughs> This is Maine's Best Blueberry Cotton Candy. Cotton candy, blueberry, I was definitely down. I like this one more than the maple pancakes one. This has notes of ripe Maine blueberries, spun sugar, and vanilla. And this one, you're burning it, does have that cotton candy smell with the blueberry. I feel like you're right on the verge of getting the kind of burnt sponge sugar scent. It's not quite there, but like almost, and it stays really light, airy, sweet, um, as opposed to the maple one, which has that kind of like breadiness going on. It's just a denser smell. So I like how light this is and like airy of a sweet scent. Again, not one that I think I would like want a ton of or whatever, but I will enjoy burning it. And I really liked the way that it burned. It wasn't too strong as well. Like some candles are just like too much. This one was, I feel like pretty perfect for the type of scent it is and how I like it. So that one I have been enjoying. This one I'm so excited to burn. This is banana walnut muffin. And again, I think this one was an online exclusive. It's sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. It's not overly banana. This is more bready and kind of cinnamon spicy with a little bit of banana. I'm interested to see how this will burn. I think it'll be just a nice cozy kind of fall scent. When you get those spices mixed in with any kind of bakery tree, it just immediately smells the house up nice and warm, cozy and fall like so another one I think will burn nicely I haven't obviously burned it yet but I don't know if I would like you know want to pick up a ton I'm not like looking forward to it to buy again last two candles kind of and then I have some that I didn't purchase but I just wanted to mention this is bourbon maple this is an online exclusive the notes on this had me intrigued it's barrel aged bourbon sugared am and maple wood I was burning this yesterday and this smells like dry wood like you're in an oak barrel um, there is the maple it's not overly sweet at all um, but I'm also right now I'm filming even here is because I'm redoing my beauty room. And so we've been building a lot of furniture and it kind of smells like <laughs> plywood. And so when I was burning this, we were building the furniture and it just smelled like the plywood. Like this kind of reminded me of... <laughs> the plywood of the furniture with like a drizzle of maple syrup on it kind of but lots of dry woods very interesting scent this is one of those scents I feel like from Bath and Body Works where I feel like they're trying to do some different stuff and I really like that I like seeing kind of new scents from them mm, but I'm not sure how I love this because I just associate it with that now <laughs> but obviously I'll keep burning it see if I can like get different association at different times but not a very good first impression, but I feel like when I was first smelling it, when I first got it, I was really excited for it. But burning, I'm not sure. I love that. <laughs> it's plywood and maple syrup, baby. Okay, and then last, this has been on my list for a long time. I have the strawberry pound cake antibacterial spray, and I really love that. It is so sweet smelling. Like, it smells like strawberries and like fake sweetener, but in the best way. Like, I love it so much, and I really wanted to get the candle. I'm learning with the candles that for the really sweet smells, sometimes I don't love them cold. Like, this almost has a stink to it cold, but I, I have this feeling, and I'm pretty sure I'll be right that once it gets burning it's gonna smell so much different so and so I'm excited to test that theory but I really love the strawberry pound cake it really has that like strawberry but then kind of this dense cakey vanilla kind of smell and I love those together because the strawberry adds just something slightly tart it's kind of like that caramel apple um, this kind of has a similar thing to me it's a lot sweeter I would say or maybe not sweeter but I really like the mix of like the fresh fruit with the sweet smell in a way that it kind of balances it so very excited for that I think this might be a year-round scent though so lots of candles I know I'm like set for fall but I burn candles all of the time in my house and I'm home a lot of the time so yeah I always have a candle go 
going and it's something I really really love especially during fall but for some candles I think you should pick up that I didn't pick up this year because I had some I love caramel pumpkin swirl if you're looking for that gourmand drenched in caramel pumpkin spice scent this one is so good you guys and this one <laughs> is so strong i used to not like this actually um i would like just take the cap off and it was too much so be warned this is a strong ass candle super sweet super cozy super comforting like i'm obsessed with this this has notes of luscious caramel ground cinnamon rich brown sugar creamy vanilla i guess there's no pumpkin in here but my goodness it just reminds me of fall and then a new one that i'm like loving and i never have been as big of a fan of leaves as i am right now but this is from last year leaves is a classic classic bath and body work scent this is crisp red apple golden nectar warm clove spice it's a very spicy scent i would say that's what you get first it's very like holidays like think thanksgiving think of baking um think of those pine cones at michael's when you walk in the door that kind of smell i've only more recently been able to enjoy a very spicy scent and we've been burning this one we only have a little bit left and i might pick up another one of these if i burn through this because it's just so festive. It smells so good. Almost like you have like hot cider on the stove or something like to perfume the room. So good. And I'm surprised I'm saying that. These again, leaves is one of those candles that I enjoy like once, you know, like I'm like, okay, today's the leaves day of the year, but I can see myself actually burning this multiple, multiple, multiple days and like enjoying it throughout the season instead of like on a specified date. So loving all the candles, tons of candles, tons to choose from, a lot of repurchases, but a lot are going to be one-offs. I feel like where I'll burn through my candles I'll enjoy it, but I don't intend on picking up another one and I definitely don't intend on like having backups of it or anything like that because unfortunately with Bath and Body Works, you never know when a scent will come back or not. I'm still literally crying over Mango Beachwood, okay? <laughs> I wish that they would come back out with Mango Beachwood, what the fuck? Anyway, I did pick up some actual body stuff as well. Like I mentioned, the Mist were $5.95 a piece. First and foremost, like I knew I had to get my sweet whiskey. I bought a full size and a backup i also have the mini this is so good you guys this has notes of golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries this to me it's very boozy very sweet but still rich and i absolutely love it to me it smells like initio's side effect so if you like that scent i mean that's a very expensive high-end niche scent this is like a very close version. It's like definitely in the vein and I love it. I also did pick up some of the body wash that I could be using it while I spray myself. I've never been like that before actually, but I did it last year with Fireside Flurries loved that I had the body wash experience and the scent when I got out and I also did it with beach nights which is one of my absolute favorites and so I've been getting into it a little bit more and also kind of using body washes and then switching them out and not just running through them that's how I usually would do stuff but I kind of enjoy picking the scent I want to like shower with that day and having a few more open and kind of rotating instead of just like having one and using it all the way up in one kind of sitting, if that makes sense. I have actually showered with this twice now and I really do quite like it. I also think it will be a nice one where a lot of different vanillas and different scents are gonna uh, layer really nicely. So I picked up some of that. This one's kind of, I don't wanna say petty, but um, I did pick up a Bonfire Bash, not because I don't have it, I did have it, but I fucking hate this packaging. And I know that's like the lamest reason, but I'm sorry, I hate this. I just hate it, I, I really hate it. So I'm gonna pass it on to my mom or something. But I love Bonfire Bash, so good. Mm, it's like a woody, smoky vanilla. It's vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, cashmere musk, such a good one from them. If you like a nice, rich vanilla, I think you'll really like that. It has a little bit of something smoky going on, but I don't feel like it's too much. It's not too much of a fire to me anyway. I think though the real stand out from the body sprays that I picked up is Midnight Amber Glow. Now this is like one of their new scents. It, it, I don't know if it's permanent, but it's not the same as like the seasonal ones, if that makes sense. Like I think it might kind of be permanent. I smelled this in store and uh, this is where I need to like almost not smell things in store and kind of just go for it if it's on a good deal or something like that. And the notes seem like something I'll like because I sprayed this in store and I was just like nothing special, whatever, move on. But I got a comment that was like, what do you think of this one? It seems like right up your alley. And I was like, you're right, it does. Like I went back, looked at the notes. I'm like, what the heck? And so because of the sale, I was like, I'm gonna get it and really see if it's something for me. I'm obsessed with this now. This has notes of smooth amber, caramel latte and vanilla bourbon. It has this really nice like 
really sweet sugary note like kind of in between all of that stuff it is so good I don't pick up specific things besides like the vanilla like yeah I get that this is like vanilla based and maybe even like amber based but really I don't pick out anything specific I don't really even pick out the caramel latte necessarily but it's just this beautiful really sweet gourmand scent and it's delicious I like love it I'm so so into this so so glad I picked that one up and I'm learning with the body mist that I really need the experience of like spraying it on my body really letting it like a cloud engulf me a, a couple of times to get my idea of the scent because that's also how beach nights was when I first smelled beach nights in store I did not really love it but I was like you know these notes seem like something I'll like I'm just gonna take a chance and it took a second to grow on me and then it's like my absolute favorite so yeah I I think that's something I'm just learning <laughs> about myself. Sometimes I need that like extra experience. Next though, a classic I picked up into the night. This is just one I wanted to have because I feel like it's a pretty sexy one at Bath and Body Works. This has notes of raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. This is one of the Bath and Body Works mists that I feel like really smells like a perfume. And if you're looking for a higher end smell, something like this, I think you'd really like. It has those like darker notes though it does have that patchouli in it but I think it's just kind of sexy a little bit rich and sweet and girly I don't know it's nice I wanted to have that one last two scents that I picked up for this haul specifically I wanted to give the white pumpkin and chai a chance this is cinnamon cider spiced pumpkin and vanilla glaze this one's pretty freaking good too you guys yeah I really like this one I need to give it more of a shot so I can really pick out the different notes that I really love and like what has me going about it but if you're looking for a cozy fall scent this is definitely one to go for especially if you like those gourmands and like sweet scents and then of course I got the full size of the strawberry pound cake because I wanted to have this in the spray mm, I don't know what it is why I'm obsessed with the strawberry pound cake but I really I really love that scent the antibacterial soap is what got me on that one okay we're almost done I wanted to just shout out a few different ones that um, are from fall ish that I think are really good too from Bath and Body Works so I didn't buy them in this haul but I have them Ivory cashmere if you're looking for something more musky not as sweet but still cozy I really like this one uh, this has notes of fresh lakeside air silver musk and white amber this one's really good again for like a fresh musky but still cozy scent if you're looking for a good vanilla I do like wicked vanilla woods it's a nice rich one it has magical vanilla glowing amber wood and enchanted pink pepper and it kind of to me it almost smells like it has patchouli in it it has like almost like a vanilla bourbon type of smell going on too nice and rich and I decided to pick up the body wash on this one um, so that I could have them together I actually don't love the body wash like it's fine it's not the I don't know it doesn't do the magic for me though the only other body wash that I picked up too strawberry pumpkin come on come on but one that I'm surprised I don't love as much and I think this is maybe from last year but the marshmallow pumpkin latte I'm a huge fan, okay? Let me start off by saying I'm a huge fan of the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte scent, specifically in the hand soap, but something about it in the mist just doesn't translate to me. Uh, I don't know. It has pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows. I wish that was coming out more. Creamy sandalwood and praline musk. It does come off kind of musky, but it just... I don't know it just doesn't have the richness it doesn't have the je ne sais quoi that I feel like it does or has had in the past for me and I don't know if that's my sense of smell changing or just kind of the transition from different types of products I don't think they all translate the same like some things work in a candle but wouldn't work in body wash some things work in body wash but wouldn't work as a mist like I don't know that's how I feel anyway but yeah those are some of the things that have worked out for me that haven't kind of what's come into my collection I'm fucking fall ready obviously like I am stocked stocked for fall <laughs> and so excited for it I'd love to know what you guys are gonna pick up I think they might even be making sweet whiskey into a candle and you'll know you know I want to pick that up like I said I just love fall time when it comes to Bath and Body Works I think that they hit it out of the park and I know you can get other fall candles other places like TJ Maxx but I just don't have the luck you guys of like the kind of scent throw and all that stuff so I just wait for sales and get them for like 
maybe what two three dollars more than what they are at home goods anyway you know and i love that they have more defined scents stronger scents and some like weird ones or different ones you know so anyway let me know your favorite bath and body works fall candle or just fall scent in general if there's one i didn't mention here and you don't know if i've tried let me know give me some recommendations yeah i hope you enjoyed this version or this video for scent sunday i know it's a little bit different but i wanted to share with you some things i picked up since they finally just got in and also so I wanted to be chill and just talk on the floor. So anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.